Next, we will look at the personal documents. For the photo, please upload a passport style photo of yourself. Selfies are accepted as long as they meet the eligibility criteria. This includes a white or light background, a full face view, which means it must be just a photo of you, a headshot, so your shoulders up, and no hat, sunglasses, or scarves are to be worn. Please do not upload a cropped photo of the photo from your passport. You also do not need to pay for new photos for the purpose of this application. Please be sure to check out the supported file formats on our website. So this would be as image file formats. And please do not submit the photo as a PDF or a Word document. Here's an example of what the photo may look like. Other personal documents include your passport photocopy. Please upload the photo identification page of your current passport for your exchange term. Your passport may need to be valid for six months past your expected date of return to Canada. It is your responsibility to ensure that your passport is valid for the appropriate duration. If your passport's about to expire or has already expired, please upload a copy of the receipt you received when you applied for your renewal or upload your expired or expiring passport and a document stating your name, student number, and details of when you'll be applying for your renewal. If you do not have a passport, please upload a copy of the receipt you received when you applied for your passport or upload a document stating your student number, your name, and the details of when you will be applying for your passport. As for language background, if you have background in the languages of any of the host countries of which you are applying, even if you're not planning to take courses in that language, there is space in the application to comment on this. Include how you learn the language, so for example, did you speak it growing up, or did you learn it formally in a classroom, did you learn it through friends, and then also include your approximate level of fluency. If you do not have background in the language of any of the host countries of which you're applying, please leave it blank. Please note that language background is not expected for most destinations. It is used by the selection committee to determine a student's eligibility for locations where language skills are required. But again, that's only a few. The next personal document is the budget. On the budget form, you'll be filling in the estimated costs of the program as well as your estimated funds and the, any kind of budget comments. The budget comments refer to any type of discrepancy that there may be in your budget. So for example, if you say uh, $0 for international transportation, you'll need to indicate why your transportation is $0. So this budget can be downloaded off of our website. Please make sure that you download this form and save it prior to starting the form because otherwise the forms may not auto calculate or save correctly. There are two different versions of this budget planning worksheet. Please make sure that you look on the top of the form to make sure that you're filling out the correct budget. If you are applying to the University of California, Berkeley, Beijing Institute of Technology, or the Manchester Business School's European Summer Study Program, make sure that you check that off on the top of the form. Otherwise, you'll be filling out the general budget form that looks like this. This one applies to all of the rest of the destinations that students would be applying to.